Today I'm gonna show you how to dismantle IKEA Leirvik bed. Let's do it. Starting with the tops, just unscrew them to the left side. Good practice before you start this, get a plastic bag or something where you could, can put all the small parts and the screws together. So when you need it, you can uh, find it easy and you're not going to lose any screws. So we have the tops out now, the slats, just take them out from the stoppers. This is the simplest ones IKEA selling, I think it's the Leroy range. Mid beam, just pull it out, there is no screws and you can push it together so it's easier to move that around. Now we push the bed a little bit out from the wall and we can unlock the front part that one is joined with the two parts so there's one long screw on each side just take it out so this is locking the those two parts uh, from the side so two long screws and there's gonna be at the bottom of the bottom part two screws securing those two parts on the sides from under and one on the middle. Just unscrew it all and place it in a bag where you're putting all the screws together. Okay, this part is a bit annoying, it's hard to get to those screws, so you're gonna have eight of these, so it's a two on each side, on each corner. So just unscrew them, unscrew them just till um, you can move uh, the side panel up and down. So then you can stop, so you're gonna have easier time and you're gonna put the bed together again. Just open the screws. The Allen key I can pro provide have a two sides. So if it's too tight, you can go with a smaller size. If it's not too tight, you can uh, open easier. You see, now you can move it. So that's when you stop opening the screws. So first unlock the screws. They too tight, go with the shorter side. They easy to open. You can use the longer one. It's easier to open it. Easier to get into those holes, the position's a bit tricky. Just open it, once it's done, you can just open the sides, so lift it up and push, this, push the bottom frame in this case out. So first one, just let it gently down, it's not gonna go on the floor yet because second one is still up. Take the second one out, pull it out and now you can put it on the floor. The bottom part we can put it on the wall for now. And exactly the same front part, side down and, and last one lift it up over the holes and take it all out. The hole have a one side bigger, one side smaller so you need to get to the bigger side so then you're able to push the sides out. Now we can un uh, disconnect the headboard part and we got the two parts legs you don't need to take them out but if you want it you can if you think you're not gonna lose the screws you can leave it there it's more convenient uh, because you don't need to adjust the screws there is like the small black plastic stopper just we just telling you how deep you go with the screws so if you don't need to do that you can leave them on or if you think you're not gonna lose them during the moving the bed. If you want to open it all up, that's what I'm showing you here. So you can take the legs out. So you open all screws. You're going to have four screws at the bottom and uh, four screws on the top part of the bed. So just take them out. Top screws, those are holding the uh, legs on the side and uh, connecting the frame together. So that's the legs, just take them out and put the screws in one place don't lose them otherwise you're gonna have a hard time to replace them and this is all the parts for the bed have with the mid beam and the bed slats okay. that's how you dismantle ikea later with bed i hope you enjoyed it yes subscribe we'll see you in the next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day